I'm here at University College London to make a speech setting out the case for Scotland becoming an independent country. I think it's really important that as well as making that case within Scotland, those of us who believe in independence should also set out that case to people in other parts of the UK and indeed to the wider world. And there'll be a key point that I'm seeking to make tonight. That is that independence for Scotland is not something that should be feared in other parts of the UK. On the contrary, I believe that an independent Scotland it could be good for the rest of the UK. Firstly, for the relationship between Scotland and other parts of the UK. The bonds between us in family terms, culture, history will never be broken. But a Scotland as an equal partner in the family of nations that make up the British Isles, responsible and accountable, taking our own decisions, can no longer blame London for things that go wrong, as we sometimes do. Instead, we'll take responsibility for our own successes and mistakes and be a friendly, equal partner with other parts of the British Isles. And secondly, I think an independent Scotland uh, can lead the way in some respects, just as we have through devolution and the ban on smoking in public places, uh, our commitment to universal services, so too can an independent Scotland demonstrate that the post-war settlement on the welfare state needn't be a thing of the past, that we can protect our NHS from privatisation. And for those in England and other parts of the UK who also desire to see progressive change, who equally don't like the direction of Westminster, Scotland can uh, demonstrate that there is a different way of doing things. Uh, so my message is that independence for Scotland uh, is good for the entirety of, of the UK. Scotland will be a close, friendly, constructive, neighbour, friend, ally, family member for the other nations of the UK and the British Isles.